Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. Uh, today's item is from the TGI Fridays range. Uh, they've got a lot of different stuff in the freezer section now. Um, well, I think it's just Iceland to be honest, which is basically a freezer shop. Uh, so yeah, I figured I would try something. I've gone for something fairly normal just to see what that's like before we try anything else. Main thing I noticed though was that they've got a, a pretty large range. I mean, there's quite a lot of stuff in there, but as far as I can tell, most of it isn't available in TGI Friday's restaurants, or at least versions of it aren't. Because um, they've got pizzas, and I don't think you can get pizza in a TGI Friday's, at least you couldn't in the last one I was in. So, yeah, they've got <laughs> lots of weird stuff. Maybe it's stuff they've taken off the menu at some point. Or maybe they just want to slap the TGI Friday's branding on anything because they think it will sell it. And, well, I've fallen for it, if that's the case. So, we've got for you here some TGI Friday's. Loaded bacon and cheese skins, improved new recipe. So I did try a TGI Friday's item uh, not too long ago, which was jalapeno and cheese um, potato skin chips or something. But they're like, I'm from America, they're basically crisps that taste like jalapeno and cheese and they're supposed to kind of look like potato skins. So I figured I'd get some actual potato skins, see what they like, see how they compare. And uh, yeah, this is exclusive to Iceland, so it says it right there. So yeah, they're potato skins. I love a potato skin. I usually would make them myself. Um, not unlike these with the flavouring, bacon and cheese. Yeah, a bit of spring onion, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm hoping these will be nice. I mean, they smell quite good, not going to lie. So I guess we should try and, try and read a bit about them. See, is there a, there's always a wee bit with um, a description. Um, well, there usually is, anyway. Mm -mm -mm. Can't find it. Oh, it's, it's here. <laughs> right, so these are, it's a six pack of loaded bacon and cheese skins, baked potato skins filled with grated mild coloured cheddar cheese, cooked smoked bacon and spring onion. You got all your ingredients there, it's not a huge ingredients list which is always good to see. Uh, nutritional information, so let's go through them then. Uh, so you've got per 100 grams or per two loaded bacon and cheese skins, oven baked. It's 270 grams for the box. We'll go per two loaded bacon and cheese skins, although I've got three on my plate, so I'm eating half the box for my lunch. So per two, let's say you're splitting it between three people. Two loaded bacon and cheese skins, oven baked, 131 calories. That's a lot lower than I thought it would be. That's really good. Because there's cheese in there, potato tends to be quite uh, calorific. You've got bacon in there as well. So I'm surprised, 131 calories, and that's for two, for two of them. To be fair, they're not huge, but yeah, that's all right. That's quite good. Um, 5.5 grams fat, 3.4 grams of saturates, 13.4 grams of carb, 1.5 grams of that sugar, 2.5 grams of protein, no, sorry, 2.5 grams of fiber, 5.8 grams of protein, and 0 0.5 grams of salt. Uh, so I think c compared to the um, calories in this, that's got quite a lot of fat. Uh, but apart from that, it's not that bad. So I'm surprised. There's uh, these aren't nearly as bad as I thought they would be for you. But I guess I should show you them. So that's what they look like on the box. Six wee totty skins sitting on what looks like parchment paper on top of a chopping board. And here's how they look on the plate. Not far off, not far off, yeah, not gonna lie. They look, they look about the same. Um, just did these in the oven for 22 minutes. It says to do them for 22 to 24 minutes in the oven, 200 degrees C, so. Oh, you can microwave them. I didn't know that. I, I didn't even read that far down. <laughs> you can microwave them. Oh, I should have microwaved them, then they would have been really pants. These actually look really good. Okay, um, so you can microwave them. Takes two, and a, two minutes, 50 seconds to microwave them. Probably do that next time. Right, well, there they are. Your loaded bacon and cheese skins from TGI Fridays. Let's give them the old taste test, shall we? I think I'll go for this one, because this one looks the cheesiest. These are going to be hot. So straight out of the oven. Right, here we go. Oh. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have bit right into that. The top of my mouth is going to get all burnt now. Fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. Let's drink a tango quickly. Cold tango will hopefully stop the burn. Ah. Very, very hot. Um, thought I, by the time I'd finished talking to you guys that it would have cooled them down a bit, but 
no such luck. Right, so I'm taking a bite, so you can see the cross section. So fair amount of potato, and all the toppings sitting on top. So it's not just the skins; they actually do have a fair amount of the potato still in them, which is good. Hmm. They're quite salty. Um, although apparently there's not that much salt in them. They're actually, they actually taste quite salty, which I suppose is the, the bacon. Um, mm. The skin's nice and crispy, which is good. Uh, very potato heavy. Quite a lot of potato in there. A lot more potato than I thought there would be. But that's good. I like potato. Um, you've got the saltiness from bacon. Got that little um, onioniness from the spring onion. And it's a little bit cheesy. Could be cheesier. I'd say could do with be using a stronger cheese. So it could be cheesier, but overall, for a frozen potato skin, it's very nice. Mmm. You can really taste the bacon. Mmm. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, bit, of cheesy, bit of cheesiness to it. Lovely salty bakingness to it, which I like. We had the spring onion. Very potatoey, so there's enough potato in there. And it's nice and soft and fluffy. You know, it's not hard or anything. So it's been cooked to perfection. The skins are lovely and crispy. So, yeah, I mean, you can do these in the microwave, which would probably result in them not being anywhere near as crispy, but definitely in the oven, doing them in the oven, Turns out a really lovely potato skin. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, well done, TGI Fridays. Good job. Um, I think I definitely want to try more from this range now because those are great. Those are very, very tasty. Um, their pizzas, pizzas might be good. Uh, I think a pizza is just a pizza generally, but I probably won't try one of them straight away. They had these really big sausages and I, I do love a, a big sausage. So... I'm probably going to get them next and try them and see what they're like. But uh, if, you, if there's any TGI Friday frozen thing that you want me to try, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll see if I can get it. Because those are very, very good. Um, last time I was in TGI Friday's the restaurant, I really enjoyed it. So, and I really enjoyed those crisps I got. Um, yeah, so I wanted to try some of this and see if it was if it was uh, lived up to the name, and it does. I, I reckon for those because of what TGI Friday's is and it's a franchise and, and all that kind of thing. I reckon quite simply a few. If that, that's probably if they do the if they do still do these in TGI Fridays, that's probably what they use in the restaurants. They probably just fire these out into the oven, put them on a plate, serve them to you with a bit of sauce or whatever, because um, those are nice and those are restaurant quality, or at least they're um, chain restaurant quality, <laughs> definitely. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they do, and then they charge you three times as much for them. So yeah, very good. Can't complain. Well, thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the wee bell, <coughs> excuse me, get notifications anytime a video comes out, and uh, just let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, do you like TJ Fridays? What uh, items do you want me to try next? And I will catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you then.